You have a product shot on a white background, but you want to change the background color to achieve something like this. Well, my friend, you are in luck because in today's video, you'll be learning just that. Roll that intro. What is up, guys? Welcome back to The Raw Factory. My name is Jacob, and the goal of this channel is to help you become a better food and product photographer. Now, today's tutorial is super exciting. Why, you ask? Well, because for the first time ever, I'm gonna give you guys full access to the image that I use for this tutorial so you can follow along at home. How exciting. To begin, load up your image in Photoshop. Now, we wanna put the can on its own layer and also the shadow on its own layer. So, let's begin with the can. Grab the pen tool and start clipping around the can. Once that is done, right click and duplicate the layer. Rename it to Can. Head over to the Paths panel. Hold down the Command key on your keyboard and left click with your mouse. This will create a selection around the can. Head back to the Layers panel and select the Layer Mask icon. This will hide the background on the can layer. If you want to know more about layer masks, I have a video which I'll leave that linked below that you can watch later on. Now it is time to put the shadow on its own layer. Right click the background image and duplicate the layer. Rename it to shadow. Grab the polygonal lasso tool and roughly cut out the shadow like so. Ensure that you are on the shadow layer and select the layer mask icon. Now we should have both the shadow and can on separate layers. If you have gotten up to this point so far, you are doing really well, my friend. Now, let's give our image a background color. Make a new layer and fill it with white. Now, to blend in the edges of the shadow, select the shadow layer. Go to Adjustments and apply at Levels. Right click the adjustment and select Create Clipping Mask. This ensures that the levels adjustment will only affect the layer below it. Now, pull the whites in, like so, and that's looking good, I reckon. Thumbs up for you. Two, if you're following along. Now, I wanna remove color from my shadow, so I'm gonna apply a black and white adjustment layer to ensure that there is no color besides shades of black in my shadow. Again, right click and select Create Clipping Mask. And to see if it worked, let's change the background color. Whoops, my bad guys, I forgot to change the blend mode on the shadow layer to make it to multiply. Click the shadow layer, hit over to the blend modes and select multiply. Bam, just like that. Not bad, right? I know, that was pretty good. Now, I always like to keep my layers organized and I do this by putting them into groups. Also, feel free to play around with different background colors or even put different textures or scenes behind this can because that shadow, my friend, is pretty much transparent these days. It's gonna work on anything and everything. You're gonna love this. And here are some photos that I have created with this exact technique. Pretty awesome, right? Wow, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to help others find this video, and I will see you in the next one. If you like this whole new process of downloading my image and using it in Photoshop, let me know in the comments below. And until then, my friends, keep making cool, cool shit, really? <laughs> oh, gosh. Remember, guys, don't wait. Make something creative today. Catches.